Hey, what's up guys? So this is a follow-up video of HyperOS for Redmi Note 8. I have been using this ROM for a few days now. I did review another HyperOS which was based on Android 11 but this one is based on Android 14 and it got a lot of HyperOS features. Although it's not really a that stable ROM but it's pretty much usable. So today we are going to explore this ROM and check out what we are getting with this ROM. So as you can see the ROM takes time to boot up actually. Uh, it's kind of similar all time whenever you boot it up it will take time so as you can see it's taking a, almost a minute now now it shows the boot animation hyper was mean and it's still booting up and the rom is booted up it takes almost one minute or so let's unlock and check out what we are getting with this rom about phone and as you can see hyper was mint so redmi note all other specifications and if you go to details info and specs so all the information are here and as you can see android version 14 so it's based on android 14 and all other things are here going back so as you can see here it got hyper os notification panel as you can see quite smooth actually not really bad here we can see the notification here is control center so first of all let's talk about wi-fi so as you can see here it is connected on my 2.4 gigahertz network but for some reason it cannot connect to my 5 gigahertz network and it cannot see my 5 gigahertz network that much actually it does show but the connectivity strength is pretty low so as you can see here it got the network right now but it cannot connect i don't really know why my other phone is actually connected as you can see here it already connected to my samsung device so that's kind of issue with wi-fi in terms of bluetooth the bluetooth does work actually there is no issue with bluetooth and mobile networks so the mobile network is also working even bolt is working perfectly fine as you can see here bolt is connected right now and i did try phone calls with bolt it does work perfectly fine there is interconnectivity section i don't really know is it working or not because i don't really have other devices to try it out wallpaper and personalization as you can see here we got LOD icons fonts and all the themes so as this rom is actually ported from chinese hyper reverse so it got many chinese themes too actually but still you can download themes and fonts everything is there the lock screen section flip raise to your work double tick to turn off on all those features above it, and all those things works actually Notification and status bar if you want to change anything battery section control center other things those are available Going back in the home screen section. There are a lot of customization available for home screen. You can go through all these things Brightness display so dark theme is available auto brightness is working perfectly fine There are a few other things like display resolution and refresh rate because as i said this one is ported from chinese hyper OS, so it got all other features because the device maybe got higher resolution display and also high refresh rate so they just brought them here these things does not work but they are there sound and vibration works perfectly fine no issue clear and loud no issue now come to the fingerprint and face unlock both of them working perfectly fine no issue with that they are pretty fast as you know they are Face unlock also work perfectly fine so as you can see so they are pretty fast and works pretty well and also we got LOD I did turn it on as you can see here LOD is working although it does not make sense for Redmi Note 8 as it got a IPS display it will suck a lot of battery but still it's survival and face unlock again so working perfectly fine no issue with finger pin unlock or face unlock anything like that safety and emergency privacy app section battery so the battery is doing pretty well and the battery backup is good there is a battery protection setting as you can see here you can optimize charging or regular charging whatever you want to do but there is issue with charging whenever you connect your charger it will show you that it is charging first but that it only can take up to 10 watt charging means 2 amp so that's all you are not getting any fast charging on this phone Rather than that, there is nothing much going on. You can go to additional settings. All these things are available. Nothing much. In terms of application, so as you can see here, it did not come with a lot of application. 
only the one really need to run the ROM so as you can see here I did install few application here a game to try out the gaming performance and on and also YouTube and Google photos so first of all let's talk about the camera so the building camera does work but it got a lot of bugs like sometimes it does not take picture as you can see here it cannot take picture anymore so there is issue with the camera we can switch to ultra wide camera and it can take picture as you can see once it can take only once after that it doesn't work once then cannot work anymore video is working there is some features about Leica the 48 megapixel is there but it does not work when you take pictures it will take 2 megapixel picture actually so in terms of camera MIUI camera there is issues but if you use Gcam Gcam is working perfectly fine no issue with that actually so as you can see here this one is Gcam 9.2 and it works perfectly fine so as you can see here and it can it can take picture actually no issue so front facing camera is also working so in terms of camera you have to use gcam the miui camera is not working fine actually and in terms of other things safety net is not there so you cannot really use any kind of bank application here let me check again so safety net is failed in terms of play store certification let's go and check it settings about so as you can see here the play store certification is also not there but all the application will work perfectly fine no issue with that and if you back up your pictures on google photos unlimited storage is not a viable on this rom as this rom is a custom rom they should include this feature as you can see here it's not a viable so in terms of features we are not getting a lot of things here but the rom is working fine actually it's a little slower than usual hyperos because of the specification of this device the processor cannot handle the firmware well actually but it is working perfectly fine now in terms of gaming the gaming is working perfectly fine it is doing pretty well as like evolution x or pixel os or pixel experience rom so the gaming performance is pretty well on this rom as i only play call of duty the experience was pretty much same as other ROMs and in terms of overall performance it is not doing pretty well in terms of overall performance it feels laggy so as you can see here it takes time to open each and every application you will see bugs here and there the minor bugs are available everywhere so this is not really a daily driver ROM but if anyone wants to try hyperverse on their Redmi Note 8 I will put the link of the ROM in the description below so that you can try it out it's working fine but it's not really for daily drive so that's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.